What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2122 Panini Donner Soccer Hobby 2 Box Break Random Country number 11 just sold out. And again, guys, all card ship, 17 total spots. Just please note some countries will not have any autos from Argentina down to Uruguay. And here we go. Dice roll it. Boom. We got ourselves a three and a four for seven times. Good luck. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six. And seven. Two one kings, nice. Peter, down to Adam Kupperman. Alright, seven times. Teams now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. Spain down to Mexico. Peter with Spain, Danny with Uruguay, Germany, uh, the triple combo team, Sweden, Norway, Croatia, and England. Adam with Brazil, Joe with the Netherlands, John with the uh, France, Joe with Poland, Joe Andreessen, that's Joe Galford, Joe Andreessen, uh, Portugal, Ryan, Argentina. Adam, Korea Republic. John, United States. Danny, Colombia. Robert Runkel, Italy, last but Montreal. Danny, Belgium, and Adam, Mexico. You know what? My mom retired at a perfect time, Rex. My mom retired in the end of summer, pretty much fall of 2019, right before... We had the pandemic shut down. She 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 stopped working at the right time, man. <clears throat> she did her thirty years and was like, peace. Oh yeah, she was a mail carrier rebel. Come on, Rex. Get your facts straight, bro. Don't compare the United States Postal Service to FedEx. Oh man. TWC.
That lady is a full-time mail carrier, and she works part-time at Kroger's? Damn. She a hustler, that's for sure. Oh man, my camera froze. Kroger better not lose her, man. You guys are gonna go under without her. She's a real MVP. Alright, guys. Good luck. Uh, experience, yes. Because we ran out of time. But also, there is still a filler right next to the windmill mixer that we need to fill. And I believe we have to do two of those. Someone just bought, like, four spots in it. To sell it out straight up. But I believe we had those four spots straight up in the windmill mixer. Plus two fillers, including the one that uh, is on the website already. But yes, it, it's most likely going to go tomorrow, for sure. Well, Rex, that's just like anything, man. I know a lot of people that have had their packages stolen or tampered with. I mean, I think it's the same thing when it comes to, like, iPhones when they were first coming out. What's a good way to steal them when they're getting delivered, right? So, same thing with cards. Um, especially if, if the mail carrier knows, you know, about cards and knows specifically what high-end cards are where, you know. Cause that's the thing, Logan. Yeah, exactly. You do it the right way. I mean, you probably have so much work. There's no reason for you to look where the package is coming from. You're just literally scanning. Boom, done. Throw it on the floor. Throw it on the porch. Mailbox, whatever. But you know, for other people that are thieves at heart, <laughs> are looking and seeing where what packages are coming from where. And if they're not stealing it, kind of like an inside job. Ah, uh, yes, Boom, we pulled the Kaboom like two breaks ago. We pulled the Kaboom like two breaks ago. Kai Havertz. <laughs> exactly, Logan. I mean, sometimes it's probably you can easily get traced back. Uh, easily get traced back to you, or sometimes I'm sure that's why they steal it, right? Because they'll scan it as they dropped it off, but who's to say that they didn't drop it off, right? Especially if, like, the house or place doesn't have cameras. Well, then you're kind of kind of screwed at that point, right? I've seen many people on Instagram, even customers that shop with me on Instagram, their packages being tampered, like open up from the backside, take out the cards, and then they replace it with like nothing, something heavy, just so that way it doesn't, they don't not seem so suspicious. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so people are still down, I guess. I remember my mom said before, that uh, they didn't have like trackers either back in the day. But now, I remember, cause you know, who's to say like you're thirsty, right? You see a 7-Eleven on your stop in your route and you just wanna go get like a drink. Well, you're not supposed to do that, right? On company time, so. Just say back in the day, you can definitely do that. 
you know, but I remember she said toward her later years they added like that feature of like they're tracking be like, hey, why are you at 7-Eleven for right now? You know? But like, what are you doing over there? Yeah, especially, and that's the one thing, they do it at a house and the house has a ring camera over then, you know. It's like, you're kind of dumb. Timothy. They set a mail carrier up here and Phil Folden. Ronaldo. That is a Marvel's Ronaldo. Frederick. Allison. And Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no. Anybody see Encanto already? Nicolo. My mom's saying that the newer employees you really don't have a choice on how much they want to work i guess per se because if there's work there's work and they work like crazy like how you said you work before logan but i guess after a while with seniority i, I don't know she said if you not like for her instance like she's like yeah if i don't want any overtime i can tap myself at 40 and if i'm not doing my route i'm not done with anything i just got to call it in and say hey i'm not finished and they'll have someone else uh come finish the route for her I forget what she called it, but yeah, you know, but some people love overtime. I mean, who doesn't, right? Pretty much getting paid like time and a half. Harry Kane. Very nice. Danielle. Glitter bomb package prank. No. Sounds fun. Tell me more. Eric Garcia. Yeah, like our mail mail uh, mail carrier list. She a one man. She she the real one. She loves overtime anyways. But so like the way her route is set up, she's supposed to come pick up our stuff at like four, right? Let's say. Um, but the fact is that if she were to come pick up at four, which is fine with us, we're okay with her picking up at four. But the only thing is that like if she comes picks us up before she finishes off her next two three uh, routes after us. 
there's just no room for her to put anything. <laughs> so she like skips us and it obviously buys us more time to if we're like running behind or we need more time to label or you know create more packages. Marquinhos, um, since she skips us to go do the other routes, uh, it buys us more time so that way she actually has the space to potentially pick us up. And there's times where her truck is already full and she starts to pick us up and we're shipping out three, four hundred packages a day. She has to drive back to the to the post office or her uh, warehouse, whatever it is, and then drop off and have to come pick back up. So she definitely working like almost 12 hours a day. Rodrigo. <clears throat> Victor Nelson. Do you have more uh, businesses? Um, now, Logan, like how you are, my mom towards her last like 10 years there and she had a really cool route. She told me she didn't stop like at a donut shop. She stopped at like this one warehouse that created like all crazy lights, like, you know, whatever it is, lights for hands and all this, like, you know, kind of toyish kind of deal. So like every time she stopped at her liquor store or donut shop every day, the liquor store guy or whatever donut shop would be like, yeah, here's get whatever donuts you want and, you know, get some soda, get some you know, whatever the case may be. So she always liked it because she always got like free drinks and free food. <laughs> Everybody was always so nice to her, she said. My mom's a really like outgoing person. She'd always interact with people and shit. So a lot of people did love her. She made a lot of friends. Nice. Oh my god, Rex. Who the, who the hell? Damn, that's nasty. <laughs> Fart spray? I don't want to smell that shit. Kingsley Coleman. Federico Valverde. Juan. Orduala. New 8-hour energy came out. Says it's only once per day you can take it. I've never even tried 5-hour energy. I'm not really an energy, energy drinking guy. I used to drink some back in the, like maybe, what, 2000 and like... 15, 16, like not daily, but a couple times a week, just because I like the flavor of a specific one. I forget the one I used to get, but then I really stopped because it wasn't good for you anyways. And you know, doctor be like, you better not be drinking any drinks. I'm like, uh, no, I'm not. Giovanni Reyna. Rodrigo de Paul. And Camille. To 49. I wonder, have any of you guys tried those, like, energy drinks slash coffee? Like monsters I've seen before? That's wild right there. Kinos. Ibrahimovic. That is a uh, press proof. And Daniel.
Wow. Montinho. Luis Suarez. Classic. Cristiano Ronaldo. Brian Reynolds. Lionel Messi, that's a press proof. USA, two three forty nine. Kang and Lee. Pedri and Pope. I know, just take all the unclaimed ones, Logan. Tomas Muller to 99, the beautiful game. Did we pull two autographs already? Like in this box? Did we pull an autograph in this box already? Or was that it? Jose Macias. Giovanni Reyna. Oh no, I guess that was the second autograph. Alright guys, so there you go. Donner Soccer right there. It's a beautiful game. Tomas Muller autograph. And Harry Kane. Marvel's press proof. Cristiano Ronaldo and Zlatan right there. So appreciate you guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.